Today we are going to discuss about the Galaxy A50 which just got the Android 10 update. The A50 was last year's best sold Android smartphone and it was the main choice of many people who are looking for a mid-range phone. The A50 was a great package for the price and with the Android 10 it may look even better. When it first launched, the A50 price started around 300 USD but now you can find the phone even under 200 USD. So many people may look to buy the phone even today. I used the A50 for some months and I can say that it's a pretty good phone. You had good performance with any social media apps or streaming services and you can do a little bit of gaming as well on it. The battery life was very good on it and it lasted almost every day till the end of the day without having to charge it. For now, let's see what the Android 10 and One UI 2.0 brings to the A50. The software package was a really big one at 1.7 GB, but with Android 10 we also got the April security patch. Here we can see the long list of improvements the Android 10 brings to the A50. One UI 2 and Android 10 brings improvements to the dark mode, icons and colors, brings smoother animations, full screen gestures, refined interactions, one handed mode, accessibility, better text over wallpapers, media and devices, biometrics, device care, digital well-being, camera, internet, Samsung contacts, calendar, reminder, my files, calculator, connected car and the tips. We are going to talk a little bit about all of them, but we are going to focus on the big improvements. The first thing we have, it's the dark mode and now the wallpapers are darkened as well the widgets, alarms when the dark mode is on. So let's see. Now it's on dark mode and I will disable it. And now my wallpaper it's a little bit brighter. Let's see again. Now the wallpaper it's darkened a bit. The smoother animations are a result of the full screen gestures. As you can see I already used the full screen gestures but if you want to enable them you just go into the settings, display, scroll down to navigation bar and here you have the old buttons and the full screen gestures. With all buttons you have these two options and with the full screen gestures now we have the more option tab. If you go there you have swipe from bottom that's the old school one and the swipe from the sides and bottom that's the new one. Now if you want to go home just swipe from the bottom, if you want to see your recent apps swipe from the bottom and hold a little bit and if you go back you swipe either from right or left side of the screen. Here you can also adjust the back gesture sensitivity. With these new gestures you have a new option to enable the one handed mode. So if you go to the settings and search for one handed mode, you go there, there's the one handed mode and now with the new gestures to enable the one handed mode you have to swipe down in the center of the bottom edge of the screen like this. And now we have the one handed mode on. If you want to go back we just have to tap the black area. Again swipe down and to go back just tap on the black area. I don't see myself using the one-handed mode, I have pretty big hands. With the new update, as you can see, I can always see my fingerprint scanner location. You can enable that if you go to the settings, search for always on display, top here and here you can see when to show the always on display and if you go down there you can see the show fingerprint icon you tap there enter your pin and here you can set to show the fingerprint location on always on display if you want to tap to show it or never I use, I use it always with the always on display with the update we also got the digital well-being and the focus mode the focus mode you should have it in the bar right here. If you 
tap long on it, you will go at the dig digital well-being, which you can also access from settings and search for it. Here you can see your time usage of the apps and you can set app timers. So if you want a daily limit for an app, you can choose here which that daily limit should be. The focus mode is very good mode to avoid distraction from your phone and keep your life in focus. With a new update, we got an improvement camera. Now if you go to the camera, you don't have all your modes right here and you got the more tab where you can see your other modes. You can edit that if you tap on the little pencil and you can drag any modes you want into the place you want. With this we got a cleaner camera and now for the zoom you can zoom in a little bit and after that you can just swipe right or left to zoom in or zoom out on your subject. We also got the trash feature included in the Samsung contacts and my files. With the trash you will have the deleted files for 15 days in the trash in case you want to restore them. That's enabled after the update. As you can see here is the recycle bin and there I can see all the contacts I deleted in the last 15 days. The Android Auto is now preloaded, so if you have a car and you use Android Auto you don't have to waste more time to connect your phone with the car. And in the end the best option they added for the average people is the tips tab which you can find if you go into the settings, scroll down and here you have tips and user manual. If you put here we can see they show us what's new. So with update, this is the one handed mode. We can now put stickers on the calendar, the digital well being and many more. We have some smart ideas. If you want to use them you can check them out for yourself. We have camera where it shows you how to take better pictures and how to use better the camera and the camera modes and we have for the wearables if you have any wearables which you connect to your phone these are in my opinion the most important features i hope this video was useful and if you enjoyed it please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one bye bye